The history of confectionery products dates back to 3000 years as per ancient Egyptian records. Originally, people used sugarcane juice or honey as ingredients, concentrated at particular consistency for making different products. In the modern world, confectionery is categorized as sugar base, chocolates and gums, considering commercial manufacturing methods and product profiling. Moreover, the industry is changing very rapidly due to the massive demand for luxury profiles, increased rules and regulations on labeling, new ingredient innovation, and changing consumer perception and preferences. The Indian confectionery market has been recording a compound annual growth rate or CAGR of 12.15% since 2010. But why is there such a demand for confectionery? What we've witnessed over the last 10 years is that the Indian consumer is actually becoming more and more preferential towards uh, good quality offerings. For example, um, at on one end, uh, a lot of our offerings are at rupee one. You know, that's a very mass price point and that's accessible to everyone. So we see a lot of growth coming from that. At the same time, uh, we've seen huge growth coming in our slightly higher value offerings at five and ten. In fact, we lead the industry when it not only at one rupee, also far more at five and ten. So there are people who are willing to pay much more for better offerings. Uh, when we come out with newer textures, like we did with Alpenlibe jellies, you know, uh, people took to it immensely. And today, I mean, it immediately became the market leader. So we've seen that the more you innovate, the more people are willing to take to it. And uh, and as long as you're fulfilling the right demand moments and you're consistent with your marketing message and you're consistent to the promise that you're making with your brand, we see consumers accepting us and are willing to pay uh, the right value. The Indian confectionery market is very competitive and has evolved drastically over the years. With many companies fighting for market share, businesses are making their way with new product innovations and marketing strategies to establish their presence. We have uh, segmented uh, these brands according to on two axes. One is consumption more in home, out of home. And second, what uh, demand need or need space are they fulfilling? So for example, a brand like uh, Chupa Chups is positioned far more on fun with friends, which means it is it needs it's in the fun zone but with friends, which is outside home. A brand like Alpenlibe Jellies is positioned on fun again, but with family, which is inside home. Okay? Now, when you take these two brands, you will notice that their, uh, their communication, their positioning is completely different. Once you establish those differences in the minds of the consumer, it is far easier to sort of fight the battle at the point of sale. There are, that's where our sales team and commercial team, so to say, steps in and ensures that the products are visible at the right point in sale. Because the consumer needs to be reminded. Once they're reminded, that's when they, of course, pick it up. COVID-19 has changed all our lives and how we function. Since confectionery doesn't fall under essentials, there was a clear cut down on the consumption rate, as well as distribution channels being affected by the lockdown. Just like any other category, as confectionery and as PVM, uh, we are heavily dependent on our distribution channels. And we reach millions of outlet directly as well. And we also have a set of indirect distribution through the wholesale and the uh, sub-distribution network in the rural areas. So during the lockdown, like many other categories, and at the peak of the lockdown, I can speak about say an April or a May, uh, most of our channels like the grocers, the farm stores, uh, the modern trade stores or even the chemist channels they got heavily impacted but uh, in the last few months and especially in the last uh, two or three months we see a revival uh, in most of these uh, retail channels and mainly led by uh, specific geographies so for example a uh, rural as a geography uh, you know has revived much faster as compared to the urban uh, towns and the bigger towns if i could speak of them this has also been impacted in some ways, uh, by the lockdowns that we've had, the micro lockdowns that we've had in the months of July and August, wherein regions like South and West were uh, showing different signs of revival as compared to a North and an East, which again, uh, in a North and an East, we see a major contribution of rural coming into players. 
COVID-19 has brought high levels of stress due to no firm estimate of how long the pandemic will last and how long our lives will be disrupted or whether or not we or our loved ones will be infected. There was this entire period during the lockdown where we were all, you know, not only in perfectly as a community feeling down and depressed and, you know, low. And we were thinking, what do we do as 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 perfetti to just cheer ourselves up uh, so we had a lot of ideas going around and lots of brands were putting out these these messages but uh, we kind of centered around to saying we need to put out a, a message of hope uh, and not a message of uh, hope without any any reason just saying that you know things will become better so um, we uh, worked on a corporate campaign now this this was brand agnostic or rather all all brands put together uh, it's called dunia and uh, you know it features a little girl with which who we we show that you know it narrates that her name is dunia and she's now actually really bored she's sitting at home alone uh, doesn't have friends to play with but then one day she suddenly discovers a candy now it it happens to be alcoholic but her reaction when she discovers a candy you know that that childlike joy that 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 comes on her face it just changes the mood and then she's happy and thing and we just go out and say you know we know there are clouds of doom right now but things will be better so just hang in there 